Hi, I'm Helen and welcome to my shed talk. Um, my shed talk today is all about uh, my garden shed and uh, about my garden as well. Um, I'm going to talk to you about what my garden means to me, what I plant and grow here and uh, what I hope to achieve with it in, in the future. So the shed came with us from our previous house. It's in its sort of third incarnation. Uh, I've got a potting bench in here um, and uh, yeah, it's a nice place to come and uh, just do little gardening tasks away from the rest of the world. In my garden, I grow a mixture of vegetables and fruit as well, and also uh, recently started growing more ornamental plants. I previously had an allotment, so when we moved here, I brought some of my vegetable growing skills from that. But uh, it's been really nice um, learning curve to start growing ornamentals mostly from seed um, it's nice and economical that way and uh, starting to establish a bit of a flower garden I've also got a, a wildflower border um, which is just getting going at the moment we've got heavy clay soil here so it took a bit of encouragement but I think we've found the right mix of, of plants now I've got uh, four big vegetable beds um, so we've got sort of a four-year rotation going on with potatoes and onions and uh, peas and beans, brassicas, roots. My aim is to be vegetable self-sufficient at some point. I'm looking forward to that day. I also grow lots of herbs um, so in the greenhouse and also out the front where it's baking hot when the sun comes out. Lots of Mediterranean herbs uh, like rosemary and thyme. My garden is particularly important to me at the moment. It's May 2020 and uh, we're in lockdown. Normally I spend a lot of my life travelling, um, but I've been here solidly for six weeks and I think you can probably tell from looking around the garden that it's all slightly neater than it usually is. I think in the future I'm looking forward to the garden looking like a, an, a mature garden. At the moment it looks like it's three years old which is fine because that's what it is it was a green rectangle when we moved in there's a lot of blank uh, fencing and walls that I'm sort of slowly starting to cover with climbers and things yeah I'm really excited to see how it looks in 10 years time <laughs> we try everything we can to uh, encourage wildlife into the garden and we've got a few bee hotels um, and actually some of them have been used which is also it's also really fun uh, all sorts of different varieties of, of bees, including the sort of enormous bumblebees, which you see kind of zooming around. Gardening is really good for the soul, I think, and uh, really helps you make a connection with a place, even if you're not going to be there particularly long. I spent a lot of time moving around in my 20s and 30s, and even on a small balcony in uh, Switzerland, managed to grow some veg to varying degrees of success but uh, I think in times of adversity it's important to uh, to feel that that sense of connection particularly at the moment it makes me really happy 